Well, Happy New Year, everybody. Uh, welcome to another uh, movie review. I'm here with my friend, Nick. We just got out of seeing the Grudge uh, remake, and I use that term lightly because I think this actually might be canon with the other movies. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a long time since I've seen the Grudge. You've never seen the Grudge movies, have you? No, I have not. So, what were your thoughts on this new Grudge movie? It's January. There's been no uh, pre-screening reactions to this movie whatsoever. It's a horror movie, which means... It's definitely a stinker. Uh-huh, and a stinker covers it right because I had never even heard anything about it until about 6.50 is when I learned about this movie. And, and we went to uh, a 7 p.m. showing. It's it's a, it's an hour and a half experience, let me tell you, for <laughs> movie viewers out there. Uh, you know, I, I want to comment on one thing, too. We're in this theater, and some jackass <laughs> is answering their voicemail <laughs> in the theater. I I couldn't believe it. Like, everyone just looked at them funny. I'm like... I'm like, is that in the movie? And I look over, some guy's just answering his voicemail. <laughs> and not just one, about about six or seven of them, man. I mean, this this guy, you know, forget what was going on in the film. This guy had to set up something, man. He was balling on a budget out here. So. I know, and I'm like, the fuck? Like, yeah, I'm like, you paid to see the movie, shut your goddamn phone off. Uh, this movie is terrible. Uh, it would have been redeemed for me had it been, like, so funny bad. There's a few moments of it being kind of funny bad. The ending's a great big troll. Yeah. And I, I, yeah. That's where I laugh the hardest. Like, this movie is terrible. Um, you, The movie, it's it's set, like, 2004, 2005, 2006. It keeps jumping back and forth. Like, some uh, lady cop, whatever her name is, she's so boring, uh, has no real personality. To be uh, honest, Sean, I didn't learn anybody's name for the whole thing. Uh, no, no, there was... Uh, there was Harold from Harold and Kumar. Oh, yeah. He, he yeah. was Peter. Yeah. And uh, Peter Sellers, because he answers his phone, like, every time. He's like, hey, this is Peter Sellers. Hey, this is Peter Sellers. Yeah. My name's Peter Sellers. Hi, I'm Peter Sellers. What's your... Peter Sellers. <laughs> and it just goes on and on. It's dull. It's boring. It's some boring ass, like, oh, so this lady, this lady cop goes to this uh, crime scene and she gets curious on some Rayburn Street or whatever, the Juan or Grudge or whatever it's called, goes from Japan, stays at this one house in America. I guess, like I said, I think this might be a continuation of some of the other Grudge movies. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've seen them, but the other Grudge movie was more memorable, more creepy. This isn't scary, like, at all. There's no. maybe, like, one jump scare that'll get you, but for the most time, it's just kind of sad and pathetic because there, there's no real tension there's no real suspense suspense you can't really care about any of the characters because the movie's constantly jumping back and forth yep uh it tries it there's a lot of exposition dumping uh that it does early on in the film because they don't really spend the time to develop these characters at all it's just kind of like just setups for lackluster sequences of horror and unintentional funny moments like Lynn Shay, uh, she's been in the Insidious movies. Have you seen those? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, like the Elise, the uh, psychic lady. Yeah. She was there. She's the funniest part of this movie. Yeah. Peekaboo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, there, there's some moments that, you know, you'll, you'll get a good laugh out of if, you know, you're, yeah. you're the movie watcher, you'll, you know, and you appreciate a good, bad uh, horror film, you'll you'll get a kick out of some of it. You yeah, will. some of it, but a lot of it, too. It's just kind of dull. It's boring. And yeah. There's no real build up to anything suspenseful like i said there's a lot of exposition dumping they set up this main cop guy as somebody's like my partner i lost my partner there so what's it going to amount to like at the end of the way we're, i guess we're going to spoil this whole thing because who gives a shit yeah. um and i'm disappointed because sam Raimi's name is attached to this thing and sam Raimi is one of my favorite filmmakers of all time he made the amazing he made no not he made the spider-man trilogy oscorp yeah so yeah. he did that evil dead is my favorite horror franchise he produced uh don't breathe which is a very memorable movie. Oh, that was a memorable one. Uh, Crawl, which is also really good. And then uh, The Garage, like, okay, let's see what he does with this one. Yeah, yeah, this is just a dull, uninteresting, boring January horror movie. And that's my biggest problem with it, it's yeah. boring. I think if it went, if the movie comes to life a bit when it kind of goes for the really st stupid shit, and I'm like, okay, if it was just, it kept that tone throughout the whole movie, I would have appreciated it a bit more because at least I would have been laughing and having a good time. Yeah. But it tries to take itself way too seriously and tries to have kind of those like silly hokey moments in there and they just don't. It doesn't it. try to be bad. It actually tries to be good and it's but just it, not good. Right. It's just not good. The ending is a the ending actually made me laugh quite a bit because it just the whole audience just started laughing because they're like are you fucking serious or ending it? Cause so uh, main lady cop lady uh, she's with her son and she's gonna go to the house to just set it on fire and kill the spirit. Now she's talking to the one detective who's been there pretty much from the get-go of the movie. Yeah. 
And you feel like, you think he's gonna amount to something in the film, but he just kind of just vanishes after his conversation with her. We never find out if he got killed, uh, if he wants to stop her from doing this thing. There's no little epilogue of him going to like her house or the crime scene to it's try just, and investigate It's things. just done, we're, we're done it's, with it, we're moving on. It's just done, yeah. he's gone. Like, where the fuck is this guy? Like, why is, what was the point of having him in this movie? He literally just spends the whole time like, you should go home, you should rest, uh, don't do this case. This case did something to my partner. It's like, okay, <clears throat> are you gonna, is it gonna lead to something? Is there some sort of arc that this guy's gonna go through or this lady cop? No, there's no character arcs at all. It just jumped, and it's, and the thing too is it's all like non-linear, so the movie keeps jumping back and forth. So as soon as you try to get invested, like, okay, let's spend time investing. Oh no, we're jumped back to 2004. Yeah. Oh, we're jumped back to 2005. Oh, we're 2006, oh, we're 2004 again. I'm like, what is the point? Like, we already know the house it's is possessed. It's not even a, a, you know, there's no chronological, chronological order, but, you know, so it's, it, it jumps around terribly. The jump arounds it does just doesn't make any good sense. It's not creative. It It's just bland. And, like, you, you get laughed at. Well, what was the point of that scene? What was the point? And then by the end, you somewhat piece it together, but you yeah. still, you still hate the freaking outcome. Yeah, exactly, and like, well, I don't understand like what the point is. Were we were we building to some big mystery? Or, there's no mystery. It's like, okay, why why do we even spend time with all these people? Is it going to lead to anything? No, it doesn't lead to anything. It's just like, oh, just a couple of little anthology stories just jumbled together to try and put together some narrative, and it's really kind of incohesive, and it's just kind of disjointed and like non-linear. So you're not really like caring about what's going on, and like it'd be one thing if we focused on like one character, but since it's like all these different characters. And like I said, I've seen like the first Grudge movie a long time ago with like Sarah Michelle Gellar. And that one was, you know, that one's a lot more memorable. Like the ghost demons or whatever you call them in this movie, they're laughable. Like they're not scary. Like you remember like the original Grudge was like, uh, and like that little white ghost. Um, but this thing, no, these things are really like dumb. The characters are really stupid. Yeah. Uh, like the one guy like, let me just stick my head in this tub. And like what? There's moments where it's like unintentionally funny, and if the rest of the movie is that, I would almost recommend this for being like a funny, shitty horror movie. Yeah. But it goes for the dull, like kind of too, takes itself way too seriously at times, and then other times it like tries to be a bit funny. And I'm like, okay, like one moment it kind of gets all whimsical, like oh we all belong here, and then it cuts to like this one lady uh, who's just like, okay, I'm out of this place, and then she just gets killed. <laughs> Which I believe it or not, like she was kind of funny, Man, but well, the, the rest of it it's just. It's uninspired. Uh, it's a real disappointment. And you know what? It's January. It's a horror movie. January horror movies are pretty much all terrible. Yep. Uh, so this one's no different. And yeah, I, I can't really recommend you go see this thing. I, if you're going to watch a Grudge movie, watch the original Juwan or watch the original Grudge or watch the Grudge 2. Yeah. Maybe even the Grudge 3. I don't know. Uh, there's several other movies you could spend your time watching doing this. But, you know, I wanted to see a funny, shitty movie. And I got some funny bits. Like, the ending is a great troll. I'll, I'll give it that. That was kind of funny. Like, she set the one house on fire. And then we get the shocking revelation that her house is now the... The Grudge house. The yeah. Grudge house now, too. And then, like, you just hear her screaming, getting dragged away. And then the camera just shows the house. And it's like, okay. And what's credits. Gonna and oh. credits. And it's just playing with credits. You hear her screaming. Like, okay. And, like, everyone in the theater just started laughing, like, are you really editing the movie here? I'm like, okay, that's kind of like a troll ending. Like, you guys just wasted your time. Like, I, I almost wanted, like, the director and them to come up on screen, just give them the middle finger. Like, yeah, you wait. If, if they would have done that, I would have applauded this movie. Like, okay, you, you got me there. It, it's a big troll. So, but. Yeah. I mean, they might as well have just flipped us off at the end of the movie. I, I would respect them for that. But. Yeah. Yeah, just watching this just makes me, like, appreciate other horror movies a lot more. I'm like, they didn't really try to build tension. No good characters or nothing. It's just it's just a dull, uninspired mess. Like, what's what am I going to take away from this thing years from now? I'm not going to remember it in no. a week. So, I'll forget I saw it. Like, there's a lot of horror movies I've seen that I just completely forget I saw them. This is going to be one of them. Yep. yep. You're going to have to agree. So, so uh, yep. That's all I have to say about The Grudge. Uh, thank you for joining me, sir. Uh... This movie sucks, and uh, yeah, next week I'm going to see this movie called Underwater, which looks a lot better, and uh, I'm not going to watch this movie again, ever, because it sucked, so yeah. don't waste your time, it's not even funny bad, like there's a few funny bad moments, but it's not worth it for the price of admission, like you go see something like this, or like a really, fun, a really funny bad movie I saw was uh, King Arthur Legend of the Sword, like that's a funny bad movie that's like, okay, I, I got to go back and watch this thing again, because it's such a stinker, this one, no. 
no, go see go see other movies. Uh, go see Cats over this. That's a way funnier bad movie. <laughs> on that note, I'm, on that I'm done. Note, I'd rather watch Cats than this. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year. And uh, looking forward to a year of more great shitty horror movies. I can't wait. Yep, 2020, here we come. 2020, here we come. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye then, and I'll see you all next time.